Hello everyone, welcome to Neuroradiology Case Review Series. This is 20 something year old patient who presented with headache as part of workup. Patient initially underwent CT head examination, subsequently underwent MRI brain and MR angiogram examination. On the MRA examination, as is called from inferior to superior direction, we are seeing the cervical internal carotid arteries, we have the petrous internal carotid artery, cavernous segment. In the supraclinoid segment, you have the posterior communicating artery. So this is the carotid summit. You have the anterior communicating artery. In the region of the middle cerebral artery, you see severe stenosis, which may be related to atherosclerotic disease, but this patient is 20 something and there is no evidence of atherosclerotic plaque. So the etiology of the stenosis is unknown at this moment. Patient represented few years later with headache and the CT head examination was performed. You can see hemorrhage in the fourth ventricle. You see the ventricles are mildly dilated. You can see hemorrhage in the lateral ventricles and third ventricle. You can also see hemorrhage in the caudate head. As part of workup, patient subsequently underwent CT angiogram examination to find the source of hemorrhage. As I'm scrolling from inferior to superior direction, cervical ICA becoming the petrous segment of the ICA. You have the cavernous segment of the ICA. You have the posterior communicating artery, supraclinoid segment, ICA summit, A1 segment of the anterior cerebral artery. Re-identified is marked stenosis of the M1 segment of the middle cerebral artery. As I scroll further, you can see number of collateral vessels in the basal ganglia region. Patient also underwent MR angiogram examination as part of the workup and you can see number of collateral vessels in the basal ganglia region and marked stenosis of the M1 segment of the middle cerebral artery. Constellation of findings is consistent with Moya Moya disease. In Moya Moya disease, there is marked stenosis of the internal carotid artery and the circle of villus. Rarely, there can also be severe stenosis of the posterior cerebral artery. Due to the severe stenosis, number of collateral vessels are formed. Some of the collateral vessels arise from the lenticulostriate and thalamoperforating branches. These collateral vessels are seen in the basal ganglia region. These collateral vessels can easily rupture and cause hemorrhage in the basal ganglia region as seen in this patient. In pediatric patients, Moya Moya disease usually presents as infarction, whereas in adults, Moya Moya disease usually presents as hemorrhage due to the rupture of collateral vessels. I hope you found this case to be informative. Thanks for your attention.